Well, that looks laser-like, straight out the gates. The longest we've seen so far on the first, it looks like. On the tee from England, Tommy Fleetwood. He's into today, leading by one. He's a player that steps up when he plays with good players. He's got one today next to him. Perfect tee shot. And they two both own two of the lowest rounds of the week. Will we see a full follow through? I said yesterday quite often, he plays his best wedge game when it's three quarter backswing, three quarter follow through, just flattening it out a little. So let's see if he abbreviates, soars off that follow through. When he's doing that, whoa, he's lethal. Nope, it's flat out. Pretty good though. Landing just about a foot past pin high, didn't get any spin on it, which is surprising, but the greens are firming up and it's that kind of Bermuda grass which resists the spin quite well. The grain is out of the right-hand side, strangely enough. Usually it tilts the high end to the front, which is into the grain, but it's out of the, the side here, so it's the grain's growing all over the place. Unlike most of the greens, it's unpredictable on this green. Don't get me wrong, the greens are perfect, but... Mm, the pace. Keep an eye on that. Held such a good one on the first yesterday, confidently. A lovely pace, that was a little bit of a dribbly one, but tricky. Made a lovely sound of the pad of face. Oh, I think he hit it where he meant to. It's just an example of what the green can do. Struck it firm enough anyway, got himself a little bit to do with the return pot. Nice to see that one running freely at the hole. No trouble at all. I don't think par for McElroy. Should be the same for Tommy Fleetwood, a mere formality. And it is. So the lead remains at one as they march to the second, the par four. The rough is seriously thick, setting up for a leaky left to righter. That's not his go to. Right wing, will it catch a piece? Stay on the fairway. Well, in the first cut. <laughs> Better than. The thicker stuff, oh, and he knows it. That's perfect. I'd like that swing, Ken. Would you like to teach that swing? Uh, yeah, you know, I was watching him on the range, and he was absolutely striping it. It's right like a on grandfather the clock, Kenny. Yeah, well, flushing it. It's going to be a very interesting afternoon to see who comes out on top. He likes to hit a soft, leaky draw. It draws about two yards. Sure. Sure. You saw that greens in regulation stat. Not really important when you're going in with a wedge. It's about sticking it in there close and giving yourself the birdie try. And that's exactly what he's done. Good job. It just releases out a little. It just makes such a difference when you find the fairway or you find the semi. How much spin can he get? How much grab? And it could jump on him which it has called for it to sit straight off the club face there. Good example of how fast it is down the slope. Little tester ahead of McElroy down the grain and out of the left. So this is pretty rapid, but a good chance. Chance to extend. Just never broke back. I think he hit it where he wanted to. Yeah, well, sometimes when the grain is sort of almost directly down, a little bit slightly across, it does hold its line. The grass tends to keep it a little straighter. 
Head still, keep your head still. You're making him you're making me nervous, Ken. In the back of the cup. Nicely done. He's done that all week. Yeah, he has holed out nicely, without question. I like this today. I like three wood. I don't think you can knock it on the green. If you miss it short left, it makes for a difficult chip. The two right hand bunkers isn't too bad. It opens the angle up a bit. I don't know whether you notice or anybody's picked up on it, but the little sort of slight false start he has just as he starts to move that club idiosyncratic. Where's this going for Tommy? I like three wood today. Get it on the fairway. Leave yourself 60 yards so you can spin it. Hitting driver down here today leaves for a fiddly, fiddly little chip. Oh, we've got two in the bunker. Who's going to go? Let's try this quick quiz. Who's going to hit it the closest out of this bunker? They're both going to release it out probably 25 to 30 feet, take a little more sand and release it. I'm going to go Tommy Fleetwood is my bet. Andrew, who are you taking? Well, I'll just go for the other one out of Devil. gets it right again. <laughs> oh, pace was good. Line was great. So just briefly, Fleetwood has company and he's playing partner of the world's number two, Rory McElroy, 15 on. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe 19, 20 probably gets it done. Big moments, these. Strides it in. Yeah, good response, that, from Tommy. The grass is a little longer now. It's still a little damp. Leaning right. <laughs> yeah, he's finding the the end of that fairway bunker on the right hand side so he might be close to the lip McElroy he stayed over the ball a long time he gave it an extra Tommy Fleetwood there's this one going it's a little positive a little left maybe left half yeah good shot big moments these early in the day on a Sunday Andrew you're playing with one of the greatest that's ever lived yeah it is a big day a big day for all of them of course but you know Tommy 50 months out of the winner's circle Squeeze a lot out of that. Just lend into it. Shut the face down. Rory's just going to lay this up to his favourite uh, favorite yard. There's no way in the world he can have a, a crack at this one. Though. Pulled it. That's a mistake. He fancied trying to sneak that up from somewhere close there. That is a mistake, as Radar mentioned. Yeah, right on the limit. You know, it's doable, but it's actually not a bad yardage because he knows he's got to hit it about as hard as you can from this range. So a good chance to get this bang on. As long as you don't hit, hit it heavy, you should be fine. He should be able to manage this one. That was from 54. A little more awkward than Rory's was, even though it's much closer. It's on an upslope sitting well down. He's landing it on a downslope. He's going to knock this 12 by. He'll knock a 12 by in a heartbeat. Ah, there you go. Two well, really, really good shots. That's why they're at the top of the leaderboard. That looks like a 60 degree, that one. Oh, what a view. What a view. Slight misread. Yeah, they can't always look left to me. Unfortunately for Rory. Slides by. It's the best chance for Birdie on these opening holes. Par five, fourth.
and may be influenced by that. I think it looks like he possibly was. So none of the last four players yeah. able to birdie the par five. And interestingly enough, for the first three days, McElroy and Fleetwood had managed to birdie that hole. Only one five four. I'd be surprised, Andrew. You're really good at that looking to that wailing wall, that computer, if there's been a whole heap of birdies here today. With his flag position, it's a beauty. Yeah, no, you're spot on. There's only actually been five birdies. It's playing over its par, as we saw on that graphic. How close can Fleet would get to this? Very close. Bar one, that's as good as we've seen. Tremendous response there from Tommy Fleetwood. <laughs> yeah, I would almost feel like a bounce back, actually. Making a, a, a mediocre five on the par five just before this. And so this is too... We had that situation a couple of holes ago. Mac Roar makes birdie first, then Fleetwood has to follow in. Well, it's what I want to see for Fleetwood, because I actually think he'll respond to Rory putting pressure on him. I think he's good under that sort of pressure. Down the left-hand wing, some dips and hollows and little dells. Can he stay out of the divots? Where the players have been Rory. before him. Oh, oh this four. resembles the <laughs> par 3-8, that sort of swing. Wow, that's a big miss. Where did that go? Water. But you Splash. know, it's funny because the last couple of days he was awfully close to he the water, so he doesn't like the right hand side. Thanks. That's a perfect line. Two drawers of the ball up the right, drift it into the middle, cambers all the way around. Yeah, really surprised at that. Just after the nice little bounce back. Should be a good number, this. It should be spot on. And is a nice shot. That's a good shot from Fleetwood, giving him himself a chance here, knowing that Matt Roy McElroy has just hit it in the water. He's hit some great wedges in his time. Who will ever forget Eastlake? The FedEx Cup Tour Championship. 16 at Eastlake when he holed it. You remember that one? There it is. Oh, I was there. Well, good response there from Macaron. He's got that to save par. Looked like it moved a little early on him, unexpectedly. Pulled that a little bit. I think he was slightly flummoxed. Yeah, by the fleet off the back. Yeah. First drop shot at the day. Problem was off the tee. Found the water down the left hand side. It's a five. He drops to 15 under. Two back off. A fleet with one behind. South Africa's Xander Lombard. And keep that one shot advantage. Two on his playing partner. Is this the trusty two wood with a little bit of help in here? No, it's the driver way right out. Okay, he doesn't want to pull it. I don't think he can cover the waist area down the left wing. It's the most demanding tee shot out here. A little bit helping there. He's absolutely rifled, rifled it down here every day, Rory McIlroy. Yeah, he's brilliant. He's drove the ball brilliantly, really, all week, bar one or two. High right shoulder. Hmm. A big of carry this week. Yeah. It is big, but I just don't. The, the, the chances of hitting the fairway four times with that club for Rory McIlroy is extremely low. Brilliant. Utterly brilliant. Unreal. Utterly brilliant. 
Amazing shot. Landed exactly where radar said, just to that front portion, into the grain, over the little ridge in the green, and then it slowly eased itself, snuggling past the flags and even up to the putt. And so this is just a gouge with those forearms that are like legs. Hammer time. Yeah, it never came out. Just an indication of how bad that lie was for McElroy. If he's not getting through it, no one is. No, it's not a bad miss, though. If you're going to miss there, at least you've got half a chance of getting down in two. It's off the back foot, and he's really got to gouge this one out. Yeah, this is basically hit and pray. I mean, look at the amount of turf this is going to move. Oh, yeah. That is some shot from there. That is some shot from there. That's released 90 feet up the green. Wouldn't this be some birdie to get one at the seventh? Just dove on him. So a very good chance to extend. Oh, missing there for Fleetwood. So par at the seventh. Walks on, little shake of the head. He knows uh, that was as good a look as anyone in the field will have at a birdie three at that hole today. McElroy for the par. Good save. Yeah, great four, given how deep the lie was with the second. Par a good score on eight today. Oh, and just as well, that was to the sort of more conservative line. Good shot. Aiming right, trying to do a soft draw, not having anything to do with that flag. That would have been a very nervy watch, given what happened on Friday. He just cleared the water there for McElroy. Oh, pull that's a, a pull. That's a pull. from back there, but just trundled out a little outside the comfort zone with the next. Came off the putter head and the club head rather well. Ran like a putt beautifully across that scruff. That was pretty cool, wasn't it, Rob? That bell belly wedge, can't beat it. Yeah, good shot choice for McElroy. Make three at eight and you've had a raver. Excellent two part. Very awkward once you get over the centre of the green going down. Green, it's so easy, tiptoes six feet by. It's for par for McElroy. What he would have given for that on Friday. Yeah. Just wait for it. And this is a hard tee shot today. The fairway sits across you as a dog leg from left to right and the wind has switched into out of his right. Easy to run out on the left wing and all of a sudden or easy to find the bunkers right. So very difficult to find the short stuff. No easy task. The rough is long over there left. Looks like it ended on that. The upslope uh, might be below his feet. We'll see what the lie's like. Such a little ledge. If you carry it onto it, you hit it on a down grain, it can scoot over the back. Yeah, that little backstop he's got will help the cause if that happens. 
contact was fantastic. Got a giddy up, though. One hundred and thirty-three. Rory McIlroy's been really fortunate. This lies good. Okay, the ball's slightly below his. And that's a massive result from down there. Good as he could have hoped for at top level. Oh, it was a dangerous shot, wasn't it? I could see a fly coming there and finishing the clubhouse. Excellent. Excellent shot from Tommy Fleetwood. throw the cat amongst the pigeons here from off the green from McElroy four's not a bad score he was out of position from the tee box not a bad score at all par five to come Just a three wooden, a long iron or a hybrid. The rough down the left hand side isn't that thick. I, I can only see a bicep right now. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, it'll be five wood on yep. this. Less than three wood, less than driver. Left ish. See a little bit more of Tommy's than we can from McElroy. Give him 10 balls, he'll get two on there. So aiming way left, trying to kind of slice it. I think he maybe just try to slide this a bit too much, and the ball never went for Fleetwood. Big swing and the club might have caught a bit of grass and turned it in. It's left of the green, McRoy on 10. He's going to have to start finding some fairways off the tee. One out of seven isn't good enough so far. Yeah, this sand is nice for the sort of firm releasey one. It's quite dry. And how about that, Tommy Fleetwood? That is just up there. That is up there. He's got his name on his bag. He does. Mm, he'll just started engraving his name in the trophy. What a shot. Naturally got a release, isn't it? Yeah, it's just one of those. They can get it up and down out of ball washes. That just took a lively bounce and just kicked straight left on him. Yeah, it sounded like the heel dug in a little bit. Very firm, it's a firm green, 10. Let's have another look at it. Let's have another look at this. Amazing, you wouldn't think the club stopped that much, would you? Clearly he was sitting awful. So I think it was the right choice after all. It's, it's all right to say that, Anthony, after the case, isn't it, mate, isn't it? Huh? No flies on you. <laughs> no, just, pull, the watch, he jumped about a foot in the air right up. It's got to be frustrating not making birdies on the par fives today in Championship Sunday. Got to try and take advantage of them. Well Indeed he does. Whitwood with the birdie at 10. His third of the day sees him at 18 under. Gap is now two. It's what, just one of those holes. I'd like to see the hole a little narrower. It's a good hole, don't get me wrong, but it's cut very wide. The further left you go with the flag on the right is the best angle. That'll do just fine. This breeze is freshening. Don't get me wrong, it's not going to blow a gale. It's just 
It's nice to have a little bit of wind. Yesterday he missed it way right in the waste area. Yeah, I think he'd be looking more left today. Give himself some sort of angle. Not many, not many divots round there. Big drive. Even though the green falls from front right back towards the back edge of the green. So it's one of those greens that slopes from front to back. Which you don't see very often. Bit of a St Andrews green. Yeah, solid from Fleetwood. A bit on the safe side, but gives himself a good birdie look. Yeah, similar to Smith's. So we know what that one's going to do. Pretty straightforward shot, this. Should get it up and down. Yes, and probably will do. That was very, very competent. Yeah, that's textbook aggressive course management from Roy McIlroy. Opens up the green, gives himself a nice little angle to this. We saw Jordan Smith over read this. And just been done for pace. Just wondering whether it was more of a, a different angle. Looked like it was almost from an identical spot from Smith, and yet that moved a lot more. Yeah, very well done. That's the thing with McElroy. That's why he's so special. Oh, when he hits those long tee shots, he backs himself to find something special with the second and the third, and that's exactly what he's done. It's an awkward T-shirt, but he has fond memories of it. It's on a good line, but I don't think it got the full Rory treatment, actually. Maybe not the right contact on the face, but it's on the fairway, though. Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I'd be very surprised if he lays that up. Yeah, that's just as good from Fleetwood down the fairway. Yeah, radar will see the see the line when he gets up there, but I thought McElroy's ball might have just caught the edge of a divot, you know. <laughs> well, that'll be very good eyes. Looked like a cracker for Fleetwood and right out the screws. We shall see. Way right. Oh dearie, dearie me. He's found a bunker, which is not a bad leave. Considering so far offline it was. Yep, that's what he's doing. 2-3-2. Two, two. You don't see Rory McElroy do that very often, but uh, I get it. It's surprising, isn't it? And hopefully he's avoided the divots. It certainly looks like he has. And so that could hold him in good stead. Needs to back up a little. And does quality shot, good tactics. Now you could tell he went just a little bit safe and a bit too much sand at the back there. It was a chunk and run, just a little too much sand from Fleetwood there. Be a magical time for him to hold one. Pace shouldn't be a problem. Tentative, tentative. Wow. That wasn't a great putt at all. So there's hope left for the chasing pack, including the duo of Tristan Lawrence and Rory McElroy. And it's going to be Rory McIlroy and Tommy Fleetwood level going into the final five here at Dubai Creek. Oh, you know, you know yeah. It's McIlroy on fire right now. That is for four in a row. Tommy Fleetwood just hold this off a little. Rory didn't... Mm. That ball didn't budge. Just left of it to the heart of it. 
Yeah, normally you say a very good tidy shot, almost exactly where he's aiming, but he's, you can see his partner in very tight. It'd be a big boost should it drop, it's going to turn its head and miss low. And with that, he affords McElroy to take the lead on his own with the opportunity to come. He can't hit it firm because it's downhill. It could get away from you. But this week he's been more than competent from this range. Oh, my word. A three putt from Rory McElroy from two feet. So from a chance to take the lead on his own, now he's going to drop one back. Pressure's a privilege and it gets to even the world number two. They're at the par three. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, there's little question. I think we've just seen the biggest moment of the day. Certainly the largest shock of the action here on Sunday. It's Fleetwood that keeps his lead by one. Less than driver. I, I, I'd be surprised if we don't see Rory hold one up and just pull the chief and crank on it. Now Fleetwood finds the first cut, but it's perfectly fine there. Leaking right a little bit, maybe a bit of a heel strike for Rory. Yeah, he's in a rough on the right hand side. Disappeared a bit in the rough as well. Not ideal. If you go just a little long, just left of it, the ball could meander down their whole side. So I'll aim this just a little left. Eight iron. Big swing from McElroy from the rough there. Great shot. Yeah, that's a great result from there, from the rough. Great way to have brought that ball, to have bring that ball into the green there from McElroy. He'll be dying of exhaustion once it gets down that hole side. Very nearly. For Tommy Fleetwood, what a fabulous effort from over there. Three holes to go. Who'd back against him not holding this? It wouldn't surprise me. The game's back on. Don't you that, hate him? That is some serious composure, isn't it? to go from what happened at the previous green to make it at the next. And he joins Tommy Fleetwood back at 18 under par. So the tap in for a four as well from Tommy Fleetwood. 192 for Rory McIlroy. He'll take dead aim at this one with a seven iron. Looks like he's turned that in a little bit. Oh, Only just a little. Yeah. Using the slope there to kill the bounce of the ball. That's a great birdie look for McElroy on 16. Doesn't get much better than that. Flag tight to the right hand side. Whoopsie daisy. Finds the back edge on the par three Fleetwood. That's not going to stop until a few paces behind it there. Little upslope. 
sitting out. Oh, it came out a bit lively. That looked like a lot of loft there, Ken, though, didn't it? Oh, it just slides by for Roy McElroy on the par three. It's been all over the place the last 45 minutes for him. The intensity builds up. Only two holes to go. An important one for Tommy Fleetwood. Yeah, very much so. There's a the odd chance or two coming home, but wow, he's already given them away this time of the afternoon on a Sunday. Hitting the right hand bunker here yesterday. Trying to take it on. What's he got for us today? Very nearly the same thing. Strange play that for me. Yeah, I don't think it's the play. It's just a bad shot. Strange. Bring that bunker into play. Yeah. Yeah, this looks a little bit further left. Looks like the a better line. Staying short of that right hand bunker with his front flag. Dodges the divots. Yeah, what's he looking here? 12 feet, something like that. Try and get it somewhere close to pin height. Not the shot he needed in the moment. Good, but there is grass behind it, so I could jump on him. He'll need to send this high into orbit, way upstairs, penthouse high. He's looking extremely high, isn't he? And he's looking it down, up and down. Oh, what about that? How about that? Landed it in a postage stamp. What a shot at the right time for McElroy. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Don't over borrow, or you will miss it right. Go on, go on. Could use it. And he gets it, Tommy Fleetwood. The applause as Fleetwood draws up alongside Tristan Lawrence and Rory McElroy, who's hit it in close though, remember. Just keep on coming. The chess match continues, but now it's Rory McElroy out in front on his own at minus 19. That is an absolute horror. Down the final hole from Rory McElroy. It's wet, I believe. In the creek. Yeah, it looked like it went in at pace right up. Yeah, well, there's a cart path over there, which is not going to help the cause. Come on, Tommy, lad. Yeah, beautiful tee shot. Just a soft draw, spot on. Starting down the right half, dodging a few divots. Just what's required. Birdie from Tommy Fleetwood might well take it all. How quickly things have changed in the last hour. Yeah. Watch that right hand side of the green. Just stand still, please. He's Oops. asking it to go, isn't he? Yeah, two clubs. Seven iron is a club, but, you know, it's all right to say that now, but it was stuck between a, a rock and a hard place. Very difficult to muster the courage up to massage a seven in there. Nine iron it is. It's a good one. Good club of hurt. Completely something happen here. Yeah, stay there. He floated on him. But more importantly, he's on the right level.
crucial putt for McElroy. Pretty good putt, all in all. Nice. This would do it for Tommy Fleetwood, who calls Dubai home these days. on the Dubai Invitational Trophy belongs to Tommy Fleetwood in a dramatic final round here at Dubai Creek. It's been edge of your seat viewing for the past hour and a half. And what a way to finish. Rory McElroy, but this putt will change that. Oh, what a finish from Tommy Fleetwood. Birdie, birdie and well, who knows, that might just be the fill-up that he needs. A couple of wins, of course, just down the road there at Abu Dhabi, and now he's a winner here in Dubai. It is his third in the United Arab Emirates. His first since November of 2022. Didn't get one last year. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.